Hello everyone, how do you do? This is Project Card Doom and today we are going to look at my new 3D printer Longyear LK5 Pro. Printer arrived uh, very quickly because manufacturer has warehouses in different countries. Let's start with unboxing. The box is really big and uh, quite heavy. This is a large printer with a print area of 300 by 300 by 400 mm. Inside there is a bright orange packaging, a standard set, some filament, really small amount, so much so that I probably wouldn't even put this much on the seller's place. As it turned out in the future, it was not even a single piece, but three small pieces. Perhaps the manufacturer want me to try a filament change function, but honestly I didn't even try this filament. Further in the box a spatula, allen keys, a wrench for bolts and a nozzle, signet bolts, a flash drive, an instruction manual and the printer itself, uh, consisting of the base and the frame for the X and Z axis. When I got everything out and wanted to start assembling, I noticed that one of the legs wiggle. It turned out the bolt didn't go along the thread and the manufacturer decided not tighten it. Well, it's not difficult for me. I tighten all the screws in the printer. I decided to look inside the printer, but there one bolt is missing. Not a big deal, but it's kind of strange. The board is 8-bit, the drivers are removable and it's TMC2208 all axes except the extruder, there is A4988. So their machine promises to be quiet, and it's very good. All connectors are glued. I unfold the instruction, very beautiful pictures, but not clear for me. Manual in the flash drive is better, also there is a video manual. Ok, let's try. Push the X axis along the frame. Screw it to the base, install the Z axis motor, pass the Z axis screw, tighten the coupling, raise the X axis to the very top and tighten the bolts. Install the display and limit switch of the Z axis. Also this printer has two rods to hold the axis, in order to increase stability. It's very nice feature, for a big printer. After assembly I tried to move all axes, and what is this? The first thought was that Y axis motor shaft is bended, but no, it's a pulley bore a little bit bigger. I tried to fix it with some aluminum foil, but this didn't do much. I found another pulley that fits nicely. The X axis has some problem with the belt. It's very easy to fix, you just need to push a pulley few millimeters deeper on the shaft. Then I check the backlash and tighten the rollers. Put the glass on the table, it has ultra base style surface. Everything is ready to go. Nothing exploded, it can be called success. I started the calibration, it goes through 5 different points aiming the piece of paper. As I said earlier, I didn't get the joke with the kit filament, I don't have any PLA, so I loaded PETG using the built-in program for loading filament. Because all the prepared files on the flash drive was made for the PLA, I decided not to try anything from there. I looked at what was on the flash drive, special slicer, simple design, not a lot of settings, multiple languages, I think it's going to work for some people, especially for beginners. First I saw in this program is a model of whistle with a longer logo on it. Let's print it. The adhesion to the table is good and I don't see any significant defects. I wanted a new pad for a long time, and my choice is this beautiful slug. The size of the entire print area 
is 38 cm from eyes to tail. Longer slicer will make it for 70 hours. Loaded the model into the Cura with the same parameters 54 hours. Sounds better. To be honest, it was kind of scary to leave the sprinter in the workshop for such a long time. I stared at him through the camera every 15 minutes and carefully looked for a sign of smoke. Once it tried to jump off the table. The next day I touched the power supply, the control boards, the motors, everything was barely warm. So I relaxed a little and let it finish its job. When I came for my slug, I saw some kind of dust on the table. It turned out that the rollers were scattered on the x-axis. This is not the printer's fail, but mine. It's, it was necessary to check that the rollers were over tighten. Be careful. As you can see, the model turned out to be very good quality. Very clean, the layers lay flat. The pros of this printer. A large print area, good aluminum profiles, quiet drivers, a convenient display and controls, ultra based glass, the print quality is not bad at all. Cons, the printer assembly, loose bolts, a rubbing belt, low quality pulley, just imagine that I would save up money buying this printer at full price, wait for it, check the tracking every day, but in the end I received a not working thing. If I didn't have a spare pulley, it would be impossible to use it. I'm sure the manufacturer will replace it for free if you ask the attach support, but anyway you'll have to wait the delivery. I don't like that this printer don't have a belt tensioners. It wouldn't increase the price much. The location of the USB and the flash drive. I only print from a flash drive and for me this is important. The 3D printer is not small and if it stands on the rack I have to bend over the display and go a half meter deep to insert the flash drive. I believe that this printer has a future, but the manufacturer should upgrade it and have a serious talk to a quality control department. So that's all I got for you today, hope it was at least a little useful and maybe help someone with a choice. Thank you.